Hello, this is Dan Harrison here. The point of this video is to take you through the whole process of setting up the system to work for creating a squeeze page. It's actually remarkably simple, but I just wanted to show you just how easy it is. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up an integration. Now these integrations we've got ready so far and there's more coming. And we're just going to set up Aweber because it's nice and easy. Now Aweber just talks to your account and authorizes it, and it's quite straightforward. With the other integrations, there's a slightly different setup. So for example, we've taken FusionSoft, and you have to copy and paste the keys into the system. MailChimp is very similar. You have to copy in your key as well. But either way, they just allow the toolkit to talk to your CRM automatically. Now we set up an action set. Now this takes data from your opt-in form and actually adds it to database. So it's kind of like a connector. So I'm going to create a new one. And we've only got Aweber. So we're going to give it the Aweber test action. And we're going to add it to a list. It's very simple. It's just the connector. But now we get to create a page itself. And to show you how easy it is to create a page, I'm going to actually create one from scratch. So here's the blank page. And this is where we get to change all different parts of the page. So first thing is we need a title, and this captures the interest of the person who's reading the page. You can play around with different fonts. I tend to use handwriting fonts, and you can change the color as well to be nice and readable. So that's the title. Now, we've got the title, but this is what they see. We can also change the title of the page itself, basically its name. So that's the title of the thing. Now we can save it, and then that's created our page. And if we preview, we just see we've only got a title. We want a lot more for that page. So next thing is we need an opt-in form. Now, the best way to encourage people to opt into a form is you have video as well. So we use a two-column splitter to split the page into two, change the ratio slightly so the left column is larger, put the video there, and then the opt-in form on the right. And that's already looking a little bit better. With the opt-in form, we can choose which action it goes to. So that chooses what form to show on the page. And we can customize the opt-in form as well with the different color buttons and different font size and change the text and make it easier to read. So get to the... So already it's looking, starting to look like a squeeze page. Now, when you have your video, it tends to be you and you've got a script. What I recommend doing is actually putting the script into a text area. So this is the rest of your script. And you just have the exact script you talk about in the video as text underneath. It's because not everyone will actually watch the video, so you want the text separately as well that they can watch, as that they can read. So there you go, there's all the text. And it's a normal text editor. If you want to play around with the text a little bit more, you can actually use the full screen mode, which just uses the thing in the top right. And there you go. So it gives us some sample text. Something else you might have is a testimonial. So you can simply use the testimonial widget. And again, you can change the picture, it contains the testimonial, change the headline. Now the headline is quite interesting. It picks out the best bit about the testimonial that you want to show, as people will read that very easily and very quickly. If you want to format the testimonial, you can. You can add some bold text to make it easier to read and a bit more skimmable. You only do it for bits of text, not all of it. You can change the design as well in different colors. And if you use the two column splitter, you can actually have two testimonials side by side. And this is quite useful. You can slightly different layout and different color. So I'd recommend having a good couple of testimonials so that encourage people to sign up. There's lots and lots of other things on the page, as you can tell, with all these different icons. So things such as a guarantee. Now, if you're doing an opt-in form, you might not have a guarantee. You might have it on the sales page, but it's just to show it's there. And also you can do things such as adding spaces and you can have lists and things like that. And you can add buttons. So it's actually quite powerful, but we'll remove those for now. Say for example, you wanted to move the guarantee up one, you can click the nudge, which is a nice simple flick up. But again, we're going to remove that. So now we're just going to save the page and preview it. We see there's our squeeze page. So it's gone together extremely quickly and it's not very hard to do. The hardest thing is making sure you know what you want to put onto it and what text you're going to use for the video and for the script itself. So it's actually very, very easy. 
do have a play with it yourself. And no doubt you'll play with it more and more and more and like to do more and more with your squeeze pages. Hope you find that interesting and useful. Good luck and have a play. Thanks for listening.